friends, and welcome to the Feather Cottage with Dee. Today, I'm gonna bring you along as I decorate this area in my kitchen. This is where I keep my baking supplies, and over here, usually, I'll have my mixer and things like that. But I'm gonna do just a little bit of a lemon theme. I'm not going crazy. Um, I only have a few things. I think it's pretty, and I like it, but it's not the way that I wanna do my kitchen this summer. So I thought I would bring you all along and let you see what I come up with. This is my little counter that's above my baking center. And this is where that little, our nest sign hangs. So I'm gonna start with this tray. I got this tray back last year, I believe, at uh, Walmart. So I'm gonna set it here. And I'm gonna add this buffalo check nap, not napkin, placemat. And I'm just gonna set it in here. All those little corners under so they're not sticking up. And I'm gonna set my lamp in that. You gotta have some light while you're cooking. You know, do that more that way. I don't want it hanging off forward when we're bumping it. And how I came up with this thing was I had a few lemons and I wanted to put them in, in the kitchen somewhere just because everyone's doing lemons. And so the lemons I had, I probably had 10, 15 years or longer than that, actually. Um, I used them back when I did uh, wedding and event planning. So I've had them a while. And I was trying to think of what I could come up with to use what few things I had. And the idea of like a lemon meringue pie or an icebox pie came to mind. Um, and so I went looking in my cookbooks and I found this cookbook that I have. That's the uh, Cabbage Patch Famous Recipes from Kentucky. And it was published in Louisville. And I when I was married to my oldest daughter's dad, got this book in September of 1984, which is when we got married. So I probably must have got this cookbook when we got married. Um, and I'm gonna do, let's see if I can get it in there, get it to focus. It's called Heavenly Pie. It's a lemon, uh, let's see, a lemon icebox meringue. There we go, now you can see it. So I'm just taking the items that it says are needed to make this pie and that's what i'm going to put on this cart so it says that we needed sugar so i have my little canning jar of sugar it says that we need a cream of tartar so i have my cream of tartar it said we needed eggs four egg whites at room temperature so I have my little basket of eggs. Actually, I'm gonna move this over here and put the eggs back here. And then it says it needed shredded coconut, which I do not have any. Um, and then it needs lemon juice and a tablespoon of grated lemon rind. Rind. So I'm gonna use my lemons that I said I had forever and this is just a little thrifted bowl. I don't know what that is. Um, this is just a little thrifted bowl that I've had. And uh, so I'm gonna set my lemons in it. And then it says salt. This is my little salt container that I got at uh, Gabe's, no, Ollie's, I believe. And we'll set it over here. And this isn't in the recipe, but it's just an old box of lemon pure, uh, pure lemon extract that I've had. It was $1.51 back in the day. And so I'm going to set it. Let's see. Knock it over. <laughs> I'll just set it back there just because it's got lemons in it. And of course, you can't grade a lemon without a grater. So I'm going to take my grater. I'm going to set it over here. 
and then it says at one point you sift everything together. So I've got my sifter, and I'm gonna set it like right there. And of course, you, you gotta have your cooking utensils. This measuring cup was my grandmother's. These, I'm not really sure. I've had these little metal measuring spoons for years. Um, you gotta have a spatula and a whisk to whisk everything. So I'm gonna set all the cooking utensils here. Well, I'm gonna try. We'll set them there. And then I have a Pyrex yellow bowl that I thought just went great. This was my mother-in-law's and she gifted it to me. So we act like we're using it to make our pie. And then I have Grandma Rules, What Rules, in the Buffalo Check, little tea towel. So I think I will place it here as well. And I think maybe I'll set it up like that. And well, I think that's all I'm gonna put. Oh, we gotta have our recipe. Can't forget our recipe. So we'll set our recipe right here where we can, well, let's scoot everything back so everything fits. Yeah, it figures. This is a little bit warped and been out of shape as you can tell. So I'll have to move the cart now in a little bit and get them back out. But this is pretty much how I'm gonna set my display up. Um, for just a little while. So I'll take you down off the camera and let you see what I've done. Okay, here we go. There's the little display with all the ingredients on the tray and my little yellow lamp. And I wanted to show you all this. This was my grandmother's hand mixer. As you can tell, she used it very much. And I've just hung it here because I don't want anything to happen to it. And then this is a rolling pin that you put ice in or hot water when you were rolling your pie crusts out. And this little holder, my uh, ex-husband's grandfather made me to store my rolling pin so it didn't get broken. And I just, I treasure, those two things mean so much to me. Then over here I have uh, Grandma's Kitchen, warm pies, fresh baked cookies, Hugs and kisses. This I got at Cracker Barrel when I went with Danielle, or met Danielle, and we ate at Cracker Barrel. Then I have my Sift Me Lord and Make Me Useful to Thee. I think this is from Kirkland's. If not, it's from Hobby Lobby. And then my homemade pies, 25 cents. That's from Kirkland's. Whoops. And then Do What You Love. Little sign is from Walmart. And this cabinet, move Jesse. This cabinet was my father-in-law's and it was out in his shop. And when we moved my mother-in-law to assisted living, I asked her if I could have it and she let me have it. And as you can see, it's full of baking stuff and rooting stuff, obviously. Uh, but any rate, there's my uh, king cake that I never got made. But it's just full of all my baking things. And then over here, of course, I have the little, our nest is blessed with laughter and love. So that's what I have on the wall. Now, we'll go back here. There's my lemons. Whoops, there's my lemons and the eggs and all. And then my yellow Pyrex bowl that my mother-in-law gifted. I just, I love this bowl. I treasure it. And I do use it still, but I'm very careful. <laughs> and then our recipe, our spatula and all. And then little spoons and stuff. So this is how everything turned out. Let me see if I can get a bigger angle. I don't really have a lot of room to move around in here. Well, friends, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. In the comment box, I'd like to know what was your favorite part of the video of how I set this up. If you're new to the channel, welcome, and if you're not subscribed yet, 
I would love for you to become part of the Feathered Cottage with Dee. Uh, hit the subscribe button and that little bell, and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Well, friends, I appreciate you stopping by, and you all have a great weekend, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.